Hey everyone, Dave here. In this video, we're gonna give you our list of the five best headsets for Microsoft Teams in 2024. And later on in this video, we're gonna test out the microphone against blenders and barking dogs so you can hear the performance of all of these headsets stacked up against each other and you can hear it for yourself. All of these options have been certified by Microsoft Teams, which means that it's been approved and evaluated by Microsoft Teams to meet or exceed their quality standards. And it has special team software built into the headset so that right out of the box, it will work seamlessly with Microsoft Teams without the need to download an extra program, which a lot of companies don't allow anyways. A Microsoft Teams certified headset will typically have a Microsoft Teams logo built onto the headset itself and will have purple LED lights as an accent. And when using the headset on Teams, you'll have features that you can use wirelessly like answer and phone calls, put a call on hold, mute or unmute the microphone, you can launch the Microsoft Teams from a push of a button on the headset. And on some models, there are red LED lights that light up when you're busy on a call so others around you know not to disrupt you when you're busy. All of these headsets are available on our website, headsetadvisor.com forward slash teams. If you're interested in learning more about any one of them, and we'll have a link to the full in-depth review of each headset in the video description below, as I won't be able to get into all of the in-depth details of each headset, but hopefully we'll give you enough information on this video. If you have any questions about these headsets, compatibility, don't hesitate to reach out to our team, call, email, or live chat with one of our advisors. At five, we have the Yealink BH71 earpiece style Bluetooth wireless headset. This is worn over the ear, it can be on the right or left side, and this is ideal for people who want a sleek or slim style headset that's not worn over the head, not gonna mess up your hair, and that is small. Weighing only 18 grams makes it extremely lightweight, which people find more comfortable. And because it's so small, it's designed for people that are on the go or remote workers as it's easy to travel with. In addition, it comes with a protective case that also recharges the battery. It's also great for being used in a home office or a quiet office as it is only covering one ear, leaving your other ear open to your environment. So if you're in a louder environment, it might be distracting and not help you focus. There are four different versions available for the BH71. You have the BH71, which is a Bluetooth only model. It's designed to connect to your smartphone. So if you're using Microsoft Teams only on your smartphone, then this would be the one for you. There's also the BH71 Pro, which includes the USB adapter, which this is designed to connect to your computers and also your smartphone. So you can use the one headset for both your computer and smartphone. The BH71 workstation model includes this charging base, which is actually quite incredible. It's designed to connect up to three devices at the same time. So your computer, desk phone, and smartphone into one headset and also has additional features like a speakerphone built in, color touch screen to adjust the settings, and even a phone charger and a USB hub all built into the workstation base, which is more ideal for a dedicated workspace like at your home or in the office. The last model is the BH71 Workstation Pro, which includes everything with the workstation model and includes the extra parts of the BH71 Pro. So this is ideal for somebody who has a dedicated workspace like at home, and then maybe takes their laptop with them on the go. You can use the USB dongle and carrying case to take the BH70 with you as you go. The downside to the BH71 is that because it's so small, it doesn't sound the best for music and also because it is only covering one ear, it leaves your other ear open, so it's not going to be the best for louder environments if you really need to focus. The Microsoft Teams features that are supported on this headset are answer and end calls, as well as mute or unmute with a button. At number four is the Jabra Engage 55. This is a decked wireless headset, which uses a different radio frequency than Bluetooth, so it cannot pair up to your smartphone 
smartphones and is more ideally used in an office environment. The Engage 55 connects to your computer or laptop with the included USB adapter. It's extremely lightweight, so it's going to be comfortable for all day use, and it's designed really for work phone calls and meetings. You'll get about 300 feet of wireless range, which is about three to five times more than Bluetooth headsets. And with the extra range, you'll be able to go grab a cup of coffee, maybe go talk to a colleague for immediate live feedback on a phone call. And the security standards of the headset meet or exceed the standards set by the US military, banking, and healthcare industries. There are three wearing styles to choose from. You have the mono, stereo, and convertible. With the convertible option, it gives you multiple ways that you can wear the headset, such as over the head or over the ear, and that makes it easy if you're a procurement agent at a company, you get one model that gives users flexibility in choosing how they can wear their headset. You can also choose to add a charging stand to the headset, which I always appreciate it, so you have a dedicated spot to store and recharge your headset. The downside to the Jabra Engage 55 is that it only connects to a computer, so it's not gonna be able to pair up to your smartphones. And the second downside is that the speaker sound quality isn't that great for music, so it's really designed for phone calls and meetings. The Microsoft Teams features supported on this headset are answer and calls, you can put a call on hold, mute with a button, and also a built-in busy light. At number three is the Jabra Evolve 2 55. This is a Bluetooth wireless headset that has active noise cancellation feature, which provides even more sound protection for your ears so you can have increased concentration. This ideal for using in the office or at home as the Jabra Evolve 2 55 has pretty decent speakers that you can listen to music, podcasts, as well as do your work calls and video meetings. And because it does have that active noise cancellation feature, you can use it in a louder environment as it does provide some extra protection for your ears so that you can concentrate on work that requires focus. The design looks modern and sleek, overall has a good look and feel to the headset. The ear cushions are extremely soft and plushy. They make it for a very comfortable headset so you can wear it all day, as well as the headband is adjustable to really customize that fit. Wireless range is around 50 to 100 feet of wireless range, comes available in either a mono or stereo wearing style, and you can get the added uh, charging stand, which I highly recommend. The downside to the Evolve 255 is the active noise cancellation isn't the most powerful, so performance as far as active noise cancellation goes is gonna be a bit limited, and the price point is a little bit higher than other Bluetooth headset options available. The Microsoft Teams features supported on this headset are answer and calls. You have mute with a button, mute by lifting the microphone boom up, and the built-in busy light. At number two, we have the ePost Impact 1000. This is a Bluetooth wireless headset that is similar to the previous option, the Evolve 255, except based on user feedback, the ePost Impact 1000 has an outstanding noise canceling microphone that has good sound quality, which of course we're testing out in just a minute later on in this video. In addition, the speakers maintain an HD quality sound even when the microphone is on during a phone call or meeting. And for context, many other headsets on the market, as soon as you activate the microphone for a phone call or meeting, it reduces the sound quality in the speakers to do more of a telephone phone call type technology. But for listening to music, when that mic is open on those headsets, it just sounds pretty poor. But with the Epos Impact 1000, even when the microphone is open, the sound quality in the speakers remains good. I like the design of the Epos Impact 1000 as it looks modern, it's sleek, overall just like the look and feel of it. It's adjustable and it connects to your computers and smartphones so you can use one headset for both devices. It's available in a variety of models. You can get mono or stereo. You can even choose between adding active noise cancellation feature 
or if you wanna save some shekels, you can remove that feature. You also have the option to add a wireless charging stand. The downside to the EPOS Impact 1000 is that the ear cushions are a little bit stiffer, I think, to help with the active noise cancellation feature to get more performance, but after a while, it can be a bit uncomfortable as far as the ear cushions go. The Microsoft Teams features built into this headset are answer or end calls, mute with a button, mute by lifting the microphone boom up, and busy light built in. At number one, we have the Yealink WH64. This actually has two wireless technologies built into this wireless headset. You have decked and Bluetooth built in, which gives you the best of both technologies in one headset. You can connect it to a computer or laptop, as well as a desk phone and your smartphone all through one headset. In addition, it includes the charging stand all for under $200, which is a great value with high performance. The design is a satin black finish, has a modern and good looking design to it. The headband is adjustable and the microphone boom you can wear on the right or left side. What makes this headset unique is that it uses decked wireless technology when connecting from the headset to the charging base, which connects to your computer and desk phone. So what that means is that you'll get up to about 300 feet of wireless range when connecting to your computer or desk phone so that you can easily roam around. So for me, when working from home, I can go all the way out to my pool and still be connected on my phone call without any connectivity issues. There is also Bluetooth built into the headset so you can pair it up to your smartphone and take the headset with you on the go. This is also great for remote workers who sometimes work at home and sometimes work in the office. They can easily transport the headset with you wherever you're working. It's available in two wearing styles. You have mono and stereo. And one additional unique feature about this headset is you can actually use a high powered USB-C cable in order to actually power up the charging stand without using the AC power adapter. So if you don't have easy access to a wall outlet, you can just plug it in to the USB-C port of your computer. The downside to the WH-64 is that it doesn't have active noise cancellation, which is a feature not a lot of people necessarily need. And music sounds decent, it's just not going to have that thumping bass like you'd expect from some headphones. The Microsoft Teams features supported on this headset are answer and phone calls. You have the mute with button, mute by lifting the microphone boom. You have the busy light built into it. You can raise your hand in a Microsoft Teams meeting or phone call, and you actually can put a call on hold in addition to the built-in busy light. If you're wondering how the microphone performs on all of these headsets, as far as noise cancellation and sound quality, have a listen for yourself. All right, this is what it sounds like on the Jabra Evolve 255 in a quiet environment. This is what the microphone sounds like. All right, this is what it sounds like on the EPOS Impact 1000 in a quiet environment. This is what the microphone sounds like on the EPOS. This is what the Yealink WH64 sounds like in a quiet environment, and this is what it sounds like. All right, now this is what the microphone sounds like on the Yealink BH71 in a quiet environment. This is what it sounds like. All right, now this is what it sounds like on the Jabra Engage 55. This is what the voice quality sounds like in a quiet environment. And this is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the Jabra Evolve 255. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the Yealink WH64. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the BH71. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the Jabra Engage 55. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background with the EPOST Impact 1000. This is what it, it sounds like.
And this is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. With the Yealink WH64, this is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. With the Yealink BH71, this is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. With the Jabra Engage 55, this is what it sounds like. What microphone do you think performed the best? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're somebody who prefers a wired headset, here are two of my favorite wired headset options for teams right now. Number one is the Yealink UH37, which is a low cost USB headset that has really good performance and is certified with Microsoft Teams. If you want a bit more performance with active noise cancellation and connectivity for a computer and smartphone, then check out the Jabra Evolve 250. All of these options are available on our website. Just go to headsetadvisor.com forward slash teams and make sure you use coupon code YouTube to get even further savings. We really appreciate the support for our small family owned business. If you're looking to deploy these for a team of people, reach out to our team here at Headset Advisor so that we can verify compatibility, make sure it's the right recommendation based on your unique situation, and of course, get you demo units. So call, email, or live chat, and one of our advisors can help. Well, that's all I got for you on this video. If you're someone who works in a loud environment and struggle with microphone noise cancellation, we just released a new noise canceling software called Neep, which uh, blocks background noises like colleagues in the background and dogs barking so you can have more effective communications. We did a full in-depth review of the software right up here. We tested it against a loud blender so you can hear it all for yourself. Check out that video. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one.